With its high carbon emissions, coal is generally seen as a major polluter. But a new project launched by the Swedish electricity provider Vattenfall is now setting out to clean up coal's reputation. In the eastern German town of Spremberg, the company has just opened what it says is the world's first ever clean coal-fired power station. This coal mining region is no stranger to pollution, but that could be set to change. This power station emits hardly any carbon dioxide at all, as most of the CO2 emissions are captured and stored underground. The only way coal-fired power stations can survive is to cut the levels of CO2 emissions. What we are doing here is an essential step in achieving that goal. The idea is simple. Carbon dioxide is captured, turned into liquid and transported hundreds of kilometers. It's then stored 3,500 meters underground in natural gas caves. The level of CO2 which actually escapes into the atmosphere is minimal. But the project has been heavily criticized by environmentalists. The new technology needs more coal to produce the same amount of electricity as with conventional means, and no one's sure if the stored CO2 may not actually cause an increase in the temperature underground. I believe it is dangerous for the environment to rely too heavily on this technology. We don't really know what we're doing. Is it going to work? That's far from being sure. But that's not stopping Vattenfall from investing 70 million euros in the project. Local residents here in Spremberg are equally skeptical. I'm not convinced that it's possible to store the CO2 effectively enough to stop it escaping. And even if it was possible, for how long? I suspect they're only doing this so they can carry on using coal when in fact there are plenty of alternative fuel sources around. But the future's looking bright for coal in Germany. All nuclear power stations are due to close by 2020, so around 20 new coal-fired power stations are already being planned. If the project is successful, Vattenfall will equip all these new installations with the technology and countries such as China and India could also start using it. This technology is allowing us to do something to limit CO2 emissions, which means being able to continue using fossil fuels as a transition. By 2015, Vattenfall hopes this cleaner form of electricity will be used commercially as part of the national grid.